it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today we are here at the Orange Tree Antique Mall and we're gonna go see what we can find inside here. It's a whole antique mall. I'm really excited. Just we'll do some window shopping first. I do have my mask too. For any of you who are wondering, I do wear it. Oh, I love glass. Oh, they have $13 on their Bluebird. 1989. Hey, that's when I was born. So, little Leo Ward. $13 isn't bad for uh, retail. Nice glassware. Maybe we'll do well in here. I don't know. It's too early to say. We could really score a lot. Ooh, look at all the cases. Mmm. Oh, Noel. Those are fun. $35 for the four piece candles. Wow, this cabinet really is calling my name. I mean, not that it's going to end up in my house by any means, but I like the way that it looks. It's really striking a pose right here. Look at the, it's fringe Korea cabinet for $14.95. I mean, I think that's a good price. And interestingly, it has convex, or I mean, no, concave. Concave, that's when it goes in. And convex. The different frames. That's, or not frames, glass. So that's nice. My goodness, what a nice looking thing. And it has people on it. Here's some interesting Van Bruegel. It's a nice pottery company that I don't usually get to see all too often. And there's like a little ashtray there and a candle holder. Look at that back there. It says German cigarette holder. Isn't that neat with all the little... It almost like, looks like bamboo. Ooh, with some Cuisel shades. I don't ever see those. Mmm, it's a pulled feather. And that's pretty. Three hundred and fifty for the pair. That is retail. Oh, sleeping babies in a bed. The whole family. This is a cute bunny planter. Just noticed its ear has been broken off though. That's a shame. A little bunny for fifteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> no, can't do that. Okay, hopefully we'll find some things. It's a nice mall. Looks like they have a good assortment of things, too. Let's keep going. What's over here? We've got a little... Oh, no, it's a salt... Like a salt shaker. Some teacups. A dog for $70. No... <laughs> Oops, he fell over. Okay, I think I found some deals. We've got a little Mexico Tanala kitten. It does have a tiny chip on its ear, but it's only $5. So I will get that. And then I'm also looking at this one here, which is catching my eye. That's $12. I mean, I kind of like it. I don't know if it has a ton of age on it, but I do like the form of it. So I think I'll get that one too. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, that was pretty good. I found another Mexico pottery piece, a cute little vase, redware, and it's six. That's, that's another decent price. So I'll get that. Um, a lot of these things don't have a lot of age on them. Like, you know, this is just kind of cloisonne styled. You probably made an India little face mask. Oh, look. Yeah. Brass India. And then, like, the owl. That's not very old either. It's probably 2000s era. Oh, look at the little deer. Let's see how much that is. Is it a planter? Or is it a mug? Oh, it's a mug. $10. Disney. Okay. This is really cool. It says school memories. It's this nice little 
oh look, it's a barrister bookcase right in front of me. They, somebody did something to it, all different colors. Um, it's only five dollars, nineteen fifty-seven, and the, the graphics are just awesome. And then it's like a like, it's like a little scrapbook. Oh look, there's the teacher, Miss Roberts. Isn't that cool? So that's definitely gonna be gotten. Hey, look, they match. What else do they have in here? Some good advertising. Ooh, look at the Scotty tray. Although it's $45, so I cannot. I cannot do that. And all the viewfinders, they're fun too. This booth is proving to be good. Here's another $6 item. Long-eared bunny. Look at the confused bunny. Doesn't know where to go. And it has a unibrow too. Burma shave. Oh, look at the picture. Framed classroom. Do you see yourself in there? Is that one of you? I would I would fall over. Or is that you? Are you on a rock? I bet you. Or is that you? <laughs> Just a joke. Look at this awesome magazine. I'm covering up her bits. You know, you never know. It's a mermaid lady. It's five dollars also. Came with this little clip. It was hanging. I took it down. It has the fish on there. Could you imagine that, like in a nautical theme? Mm. It's Esquire, the magazine for men, 1953, and it's $5. I think I said that. I am going to get it. I think that's a good deal. What is, oh, that's $10 for the folding ruler. I love these industrial tape dispensers. Ooh, and this lamp, it's $20 firm. No, not, that's just a ton of really awesome advertising. Ooh, this blue. Articulating. What is she doing with her strawberries? Oh no, those are those are tomatoes. I am really vibing with that shelf. I just, it's really awesome. I love the color. It's $35 by the way. Not a bad price. This is kind of a cute cat. It's a little, it's a little cat with a springy head and a springy tail. Feels like wood. I think it's made of wood and it's only five dollars so i'm gonna get it and this is a really awesome booth by the way we have some really funky things in here like look at that a jar full of curlers and just some random lady's head i mean you can't go wrong in this booth well you could if you tried but let's not there are so many nice things just interesting it's a fun one. Tickets. There's tickets. Oh, it's a whole circus. Look at that. That's interesting. $48. Oh, and a plastic elephant watering can for $14. That's cool. These are like molded plastic things. Like a gorilla or something. And then a mermaid? Mrs. Mermaid, how much are you? You're $5? What are you? Wiki Wachi Moldorama, $5. Is this like a thing that like would make, like, like a, if I had the right words, I would get there, but like a thing, like a vending machine thing where you put the money in and it molds it in front of you? Or, oh, look, Otagiri. $12. You know, it's not terrible if there's no chips or cracks because I could probably sell that for $28, $30. It has really pretty coloring on it. I think I will. Here's a really awesome set of Franciscan apple um, out of the 50s era, by the way. Just like the Desert Rose and the Franciscan Ivy. They would like a lofty $400 for it all, which, um, if, I mean, if you're starting from scratch, it's, it's not a lot because you're going to get 10 dinner plates, 8 footed soup bowls, 8 rimmed bowls, and 11 berry bowls. But a lot of people don't want everything. Like, you know, this is sort of a useless kind of a size. Oh, wait a minute. That's the, that's the reproduced one when they brought them back. So it's not even really a great deal. Um, 1995. Some of these might be the older ones. Yeah, that's the older mark. One of the older marks. There's that mark. There's also the interpace mark. 
This is the California produced mark. Looking for that's another new one. Mm. Yeah, I think they're gonna have trouble. They're gonna have trouble getting that. This is wildly produced. I mean, there's a lot of it out there, and not as many collectors on it. Look at the little lemons. Oh, they're little. Are they all six dollars each? Oh, they're six dollars per set. You know what? I kind of want to do it. Should I get a couple of them? So they're salt and peppers and they're six dollars a set. I think I should do that. There's like three sets. I would basically just double my money on them, but they're so cute. I might be able to get 14 out of them. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get all of them. Might as well. I just spotted this bird, isn't it pretty? The blue. And it is only $8. I had a look at it. This is a cool rhinoceros dish. It's very different, isn't it? $10 for that. If it was an elephant, I might. I don't know many people who collect rhinoceros things. But that's a really pretty blown glass bird. So I am going to get that. Oh, a World's Fair souvenir, 1904. That's cool. Very nice. The 1904 World's Fair was in St. Louis. Whoops, I almost dropped my lemons. <laughs> Let me uh, get this tag here. That's $10. Oh, I almost want to get that. It's a, it has the stained red on there. That's so pretty. You could put that in a window and let the light come through the back. I'm going to think about that. So this is a Royal Copley planter. Deer planter with two deers. And it's only $25.20. They, they called the vendor because it wasn't marked and I was curious. I just found it in a, another booth. And so I'm showing it to you now, but they called and they found out. And that's actually a very, very good price. I would hope and think that it would sell for over $60. So that's a really good find for Royal Copley and this planter. It could do, it could do well for me. It's an overall very nice shape. So that's, oh, that's a nice, uh, except for it's messed up. But that's a very good planter. So I'm excited about that. Well, that's a cool mirror. It has a light and a mirror. That is really neat. How much is that? How much are you? Would you like to tell me? Oh, here we go. $129. Well, that's neat. I hadn't seen that. Is this milk glass with little starfish? Little stars? Oh. $15. Oh, it's shaped like a pineapple. Well, that's cool. Little stars, I think. Star starfish? Maybe, or maybe they're just like mid-century stars. Or maybe it's what like pineapples look like. These are plastic little lambs. Aw, they're home co. $7.50. Look at all the plastic. Look at all the plastic swans. Oh, another baby planter. Fish. 13.75. Oh my gosh, I love this booth. The colors, look at that cabinet. <gasps> and this flower. Oh, $25, it's an acrylic rose. <gasps> and the poodles are $49. Very nice. And the little bears. Oh, I like this. T uh, that too. And that. I want this whole booth. Yeah. Are you five dollars? Could there be something wrong with you? I saw that one little thing. 
could that be just the problem that it is? A little chip right on his foot. Maybe I won't. There's another poodle pair for $48. See, I caught that. Did you like that? That was a fun little time we had. Um, look at those poodles. Those are $48. Oh, lavender bubble bath for $14. It's too bad I don't collect swan items because I could find swan things for days. 1950s Italian wedding photo album. How do you know they're Italian? Maybe they just know. Oh, the primrose pattern. That's a fun pattern by Fire King. Little cups. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Who did this? Made in Great Britain. That's punchy. For $10? That's hard to say no to. You know, I only sell my tents for about $16 on average, but that is pretty. Hmm. Let me think about it. Okay, I decided. This is a larger size, and it has really nice coloring. I probably could get $24, maybe even $28 for this. So $10, I will do it. And I just saw these planters too. $12, $14, some Miller Studio Swans. Oh, I've sold that cord that box before. Oh, look at that. That's nice. This booth, I swear. Oh my gosh, it's like my whole life. You're my whole life. Oh, one of the wall, wall climbing squirrels. They have 25 on that. Oh, I love this little thing too. I love these towels. Oh, that's just, you could put your scrub brush in here. How did they get all these things? Oh, I love this Formica table for $65. It's a coffee table. All the, and the boomerang with the hairpin legs. And the little, I think those are denison cutouts. Oh, and the 14, oh, as is, it has a problem. Oh my gosh. And a taffy box. Oh, those are fun. Six, six dollars. This is a card, like a cardboard, paper board. I think I want that. Wouldn't that look nice on a shelf? Uh-huh. And you could put taffy in it, too. I think I'm going to get that. Everything in this booth is just like a winner. Oh, you could get glitter. Oh, oh my gosh. She's $35. The whole the Polynesian bust. It's a, it's, a, it's a head. Look at that canvas. Fiberglass. It's a cover for your toaster. <gasps> Little birds on a tree. $30 though. Gotta watch ourselves in here. Oh, tablecloth for 15. That's not a bad price if you're in the market. Magazines. Oh, look at the little candles, $4. Well, on my way out of this booth, I just noticed this awesome little book. I'm going to get it, by the way. It's $4. ABC and number book. Look at this. Let me, let's put it right here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? The graphics. It's like nursery rhymes and, oh my gosh. The paper is so cool. It's like this thicker. Oh my goodness. I think this will sell for... I think I could get at least 14, 15, 16, somewhere in there for it. The, co the cover graphics, the cat. There's numbers in the back. Hmm. I found the fairy lamps. Now I'm not sure if it's in good shape, but that one is an Amberina Red. They have $20 on it, and it's a pineapple? Oh yeah, pineapple. I'm like, pineapple. Oh, it's a pineapple. And then they have the hobnail Fenton for $25. i am going to try to get both. I think I am. 
Oh, there's a Mary Gregory over there. Hi, Mary. Okay, I decided to get both of them, although the red one, it, it may be a marriage. Just the way that they kind of meet, there's a sawtooth edge on the bottom. And then the, the top piece where it meets is more smooth. Um, I was able to get it for 18 though, because I asked if they would go a little bit cheaper, because I just, yeah. my instincts were telling me that they were a marriage. So, you know, the top of one fairy lamp and the bottom of another, but they work together visually. The coloring is there. Um, but either way, I think it's a good price, so I got them both. Well, I found my first Florida Flamingo. It's a planter. It's not old, not really, but it is only 450, so I have to do it. A flamingo, and it's in perfect shape, no chips or cracks. So I'll get that. And then I noticed this deer in here for 1250. More than I would like to pay. But it is cute. I would probably do a little bit better than double my money on this one. Maybe do it for 28. I think I should. It's very unique. I like the color and the gold on there. And it's no chips or cracks. Okay. I'll do it. Whoa. Mickey Mouse, your ears in the way. There you go. Okay, I am gonna buy this tin, even though I cannot find anything about it. Um, meaning I can't find solds, sold comps on it. But it is 10 deco, which is very collectible. And it is $20. So it's a St. Patrick's Day. 10. So I will get that. A nice little round tin. And I'll take a chance on it. I'm hoping and thinking it might sell for about 60. But... We'll find out. It seems very rare. You seem rare to me. All right, so I am going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.